The Commission of Inquiry into the local councils resumed sittings today, conducting the ninth weekly session after a long idul adha break. The Commission heard testimonies by witnesses from the central government. The ninth session will also include hearings on local government procurement processes. Modu Jalo, the chairman of the Constituted Local Government Service Commission, opened Monday's proceedings centered on documents requested by the Commission, such as his letter of appointment as the chairman, the demotion and deployment for the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Canifing Municipal Council, Mr. Kajali Jane, the budget line for the Local Government Service Commission, amongst others. A letter sent to the Ministry, to the Honorable Minister, to the Permanent Secretary from the Commission requesting for the Honorable Minister to revise and reissue the regulations governing the Local Government Service Commission operations. Are the documents in its original form? Are they in its original form or are they photocopies? Photocopies. Photocopies. Yes. Where are the originals? The originals are the ministry. Um, Honorable Chair, we will, we will, we will want to um, have the documents in its um, photocopy form um, as identified and brought by the witness to see whether we can apply to have them tendered. The witness also took time to explain the role of the Local Government Service Commission in mediating between the then Chief Executive Officer of the Canifing Municipal Council, Senabu Martin Sonkor, and the Deputy Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Kajali Jane, who was a subject of discussion when he clearly refused to hand over to Senabu Martin Sonkor as Deputy CEO when he was asked to by the said commission. On the 20th, you have received the letter. Did your office take any, any action in relation to that? No, not yet. And why is that? Um, because when the letter was received by the um, secretary, uh, there were some, some activities that were going on. I think the secretary was on track, and uh, then the um, Tobaski, and then I had two of my members who are also sick, you see, so we could not... Did you sit, sit um, from the 28th of June? Did, yes. did you have any sitting um, till date? No, no, not yet. The commission will subsequently look into landed properties of the council and ascertain whether applicable procedures and laws were followed. Hearings will also look into the general staffing of the council. For the MJT, the Director General of the Gambia Public Procurement Authority and the Director of Compliance and Procurement Practices at the Gambia Public Procurement Authority were the second and third witnesses to appear before the Commission. The duo were at the Commission to explain methods of procurement, which include the different types of public and private procurement. Proceedings continue tomorrow with more witnesses scheduled to appear before Commissioners. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Fatou Janembai.